We looked at a method that we use to carry on the shear and moment diagram. Let's apply it to our simply supported beam. which has a concentrated load in it. There is a roller here and there is a pin here. We apply the same method to see whether it applies to the case study that we always had. Looking at this, can I quickly calculate the, the reactions? If this is A and this is B, RA will be half of P rb will be half of p why because it's a symmetric system if you don't like this you can calculate all of that again one by one doesn't this look like the same case that we had that we said okay we start from the left side if nothing is interrupting us, we go all the way to something which is applied. And then we put a cut and we just consider one side of it. So let's bring this side out. How did I select it? There is no interruption from the point that I start. You see, there is no load until I reach to this point. Where is this point applied? If the entire length of this beam was L and this P was applied at L divided by 2, this segment is 1 micron before L divided by 2. That's why I call it X. So let's draw that X. So I am having such a section which I call the entire length of it X. And I only have one force P divided by 2 from this reaction. Is there anything else? No. What did I do in the previous one? I said I put the positive signs of moment and shear. Positive signs of moment and shear, if you look at the lecture notes, is this and this. You can draw this whenever you want to figure out a moment or shear diagram because I'm cutting it and I'm looking it on the right side these are the positive ones so function of shear function of moment and then what did I do I simply wrote the equations so let's do it summation of all forces in y direction equals to zero going upward positive from here i can conclude that p divided by 2 is equal to this vx there's no other thing to consider now what did i do in the previous one i gave it values if x equals to zero my vx will be p divided by 2 if x equals to half of L, my vx will again be t, p divided by 2 because it's always p divided by 2. You might ask why am I not putting L? Why did I put it in the previous case which we had the distributed load? Let's say the distributed load continued. In this case, I just put a segment here I will later on put another segment before ending the length and then over there I will consider L. So don't worry if it's a little bit confusing now, later on you will understand what I, wh why am I doing. For now, remember, we start a segment from the beginning all the way whenever there is a problem, then we continue again and we put a segment before the end of it because there is a problem because there is a sword in it. So let's write the moment for this case. Summation of all moments equals to zero. I put point O here this time and I take it from here because I can get rid of some more unknowns. If I take it from that point O, I only have P2 
which is a force and it has a distance to that O and the distance is X if I follow the arrow it will be clockwise so P divided by 2 times X and I have a moment as well which is anti-clockwise so it will be negative MX equals to 0 if I take MX to the other side I can say equals to MX so I have function of shear I have the function of moments let's give the same values over there if x equals to 0 my moment function will give me 0 just simply putting 0 instead of this if x equals to L divided by 2 which will be the half span my moment will become P L divided by 4 you might say, didn't you say that we are cutting it a micron before um, L divided by 2? Yes. So why are you giving it X equal L2? I say, wherever you are cutting it, definitely at L divided by 2 and a micron before it or after it, your moment will be the same. We can ignore that small portion of um, change. So whether you are here, or whether you're a little bit later on your moment will always be the same that's why I'm putting x equal L divided by 2 but I cannot put here x equal to L because let's see let's put another segment here before a change which will be this reaction let's bring this bit out the entire bit out and let's draw these formulations again for it so I'll zoom out so you see what am I doing. So first time I had a segment here. This was my segment. Now I'm putting another segment. I'm putting another cut here. So it will be the entire of this segment. So let's draw it. So it will be a longer beam compared to the previous segment. This time I'll have the P divided by 2. I will have the p-force applied what is the distance here of here is L divided by 2 because I knew it is applied at L divided by 2 but what is the length of the entire segment that I took it because it's a micron before the end of the beam it's X And then because it's a micron before the end of the beam, so this reaction force is not there. Similar to this, similar to this, I'll put the, the functions here as well. Function of shear, function of moment. This was my first segment. This is my second segment. similar to this I write the equations of equilibrium for this let's write it summation of all forces in y equals to zero let's consider this direction as positive will be p2 minus p minus vx I'll take vx to the other side it will become positive I give it some values I already know what are the shears at L divided by 2 and trust me if you put it here as well it will be the same thing isn't this P divided by 2 so if X equals to L I'm putting the entire length my VX will become what negative P divided by 2 The formulation is telling me and later on on the diagram we see how this works now let's do the summation of moments along a point I take a point here again it gets rid of the VX let's say point O P divided by 2 times its distance all the way to that point its distance is currently X so times X and it's positive why because it's clockwise if I follow the arrow another force is P you see along O it's negative P 
times its distance what is the distance from here all the way to here it's not l2 because i cut it a micron before it and my entire length is now x isn't this x minus l divided by 2 yes so times x minus l divided by 2 and what am i doing i'm doing this that i apply the force i have the distance and my moment is force times distance force times its distance to that point do i have anything else yes i have this moment the moment comes in the moment equation as well and the moment is against the direction of my positivity so it will be negative m i'll take this negative m to the other side of the equation which will be equal to zero so it will be equal to mx i now have the function of my moment for this bit similar to what we did here if x equals to l my mx will be equal to i'm putting l here l minus l divided by 2 will be pl2 this will be pl2 as well my moment will be 0 at x equals to l does it make sense we said whenever we have a roller moment is zero whenever we have a pin there is no resistance so moment will be zero but this is something similar to this under such a point load it will bend like this so i'm expecting some moment in its middle that's why you see m at mid span this will be the mid span is actually a value and it's a big value as well let's draw the diagram of this and see whether it's comparable to what we have been drawing so far again i bring the beam i put the supports i apply the load the load if the entire thing is l the load is getting applied at l divided by 2 i do some dash lines underneath the loads as well as the supports i know this is p divided by 2 is one of the reactions and this is p divided by 2 as well i draw the shear diagram this is length so let's say x and the unit if its length is for example meter this is the shear diagram so the sign that i have for that is v of x v as a function of x and if it has a unit will be kilonewtons for example and let's draw the moment diagram as well you see i draw the the length a little bit longer it's more professional but really doesn't matter you can just stop your um, function over there with m so far so good yeah so this is the moment diagram and let's say this is mx and the unit will be kilonewton meter because it's force times distance anything else no we just have the values and i'll just apply it if x equals to zero my shear is p2 this is my shear diagram my shear is p2 if x equals to l divided by 2 my shear is p2 perfect if x equals to l my shear is negative p2 so it's somewhere here now looking at this isn't this following the swords that we have here it says go up p2 so i went up p2 there is nothing happening so my if this applies if my load over here is zero 
see there is no load here until p then this will be a constant value as you can see and then p pushes the whole thing down equal to p you see from here to here is p and then again no force here so zero so it's constant all the way to that point then the p2 pushes me back so i close the graph voila you have done your shear diagram anything on top will be positive anything on the bottom will be negative so again getting help from these guys getting help from the values that you have you can guess and you can draw not guess you have already calculated how this will look like this is a line so this is a constant this is a line as well this is a constant compared to the previous case which was a linear case or a bending moment or <clears throat> parabolic if the shear is constant can you guess what is the bending moment yes the bending moment should be linear let's see whether it is or not it says at x equals to zero my moment is zero so i put a zero it says at x equal to l divided by two meaning the mid span this is l divided by two my moment is pl over four we said whenever the moment is positive i get it on the downside this is the other way around sorry pl divided by four pl divided by four it's a positive pl divided by four why am i doing this because we said okay we usually draw the moment for the tension side and if it's doing like this if it's sagging it's a positive moment so anyhow this is the point at l divided by two what is the moment at x equal to l is zero so I put it back here. Now, how should I draw the curve? Should I go parabolic, cubic or anything? No. If this is constant, this should be linear. That's why I'm drawing a straight line. So this is linear and this is linear. We're drawing it for the bottom bit. This will be a sagging. So it will be a happy face. So the entire thing of this is positive. This was the case study that we always had and we were guessing it. But you see, if we follow that methodology of sections cutting before anything changes, we can simply get the shear diagram and the moment diagram.